Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with just a quick little review talking about the Stanley 12-101 trim plane. For those that don't know, planes like this are made for flattening and smoothing out uh, primarily wood surfaces, although you can use this on plastic. This is a very small one with a one inch wide blade and a little three and a half inch long body. I don't know if they're still made in the US, but Stanley actually still sells these. Plus, there's a whole bunch of knockoffs that are exactly the same design, just a simple uh, replaceable one inch blade. The big deal about these is they have to be set super shallow because it's just a small plane, you don't have much grip on it. It's not meant for removing lots of material, it's meant for essentially hobby work. It's just neat to have a little plane like this. Now it is slightly bigger, like this is the Harbor Freight uh, mini brass plane, which just comes with a terrible blade. You can see the Stanley is uh, about twice the size of something like this, but certainly a bit more convenient to use. A big portion of that is the blade here is just so much narrower than the body, it's really hard to get it straight. This one is a little bit narrower than the body, but there's a much tighter fit, so it's much easier to get it uh, square and parallel when you're adjusting it. So anyway, I thought it was neat. The deal is, is since you can't get uh, much grip on it, you're not taking uh, large cuts at all. You're just setting this up just so it can just barely grab the surface. And you're just getting essentially little tiny wispy little cuts, kind of like this. That way you can actually maintain a good grip. They have these little kind of stamp things here and here. <laughs> supposedly to help you with the grip, but that does not work out super well. But if you do get it adjusted, it's actually surprising. Even though it's a bit slow because you have to take such light cuts, the thing actually works. And so if you're working on models or something like that, that's essentially what this is for, is just for doing real simple type of uh, flattening and leveling projects. And you can see how fine that is. I'm just getting the very tops of the ridges of the wood here just starting to shave them off and so it actually does work pretty well as far as the angles I like it better than those little harbor freights because it does make it much more simple to use and uh, is actually pretty smooth and consistent you do have to get some pressure on it I think one of the uh, biggest downfalls of this unit some people have had issues with the paint you can well one is the paint two is maybe less than perfect flatness, although this one's pretty darn flat for this folded piece of sheet metal. So some people have had to take the blade out and like on a real flat surface, like a piece of glass, use a piece of sandpaper and actually sand the bottom of it. But like I said, like on this one, it really does work pretty well and uh, am actually pretty surprised. A little thing like this would be really great for uh, trim work or uh, you know, any other kind of, you know, s small project where you just need just the tiniest amount of shaving done or flattening done with your plane and then just having a nice little hand one makes it super simple. There we go. Now I got some of these shavings going so you can kind of see what they look like. Anyway, I do like how it works. It does produce nice shavings just because it has much better geometry than those Harbor Freight ones. I could maybe adjust this just a little bit uh, deeper. Anyway, it does have a pretty long blade, so you can resharpen it several times. And even though it can be difficult to actually find an OEM or an actual Stanley blade, there's lots of knockoffs of these made. And it is an exact one inch wide blade, so you can find a variety of one inch wide uh, replacements. So anyway, this little review of this uh, handy trim blade, and thought the thing was pretty cool. I wanted to share it with you all. And the fact that this thing's probably been made for decades and decades and Stanley's still producing them, which was uh, even surprising to me. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.